Well, it is time to whip up something special for summer. Grinders Coffee Pride Month is all year long. We have Becca Firstel here, the co-owner of Grinders with us. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. So let's start by talking about Grinders Coffee. Where is it located and what is the message behind your mission? So we are located downtown Toledo um, at 625 Adams Street, right on the corner of Adams and Erie. Can't mm -hmm. miss it. Um, so we are we are a safe space for the LGBTQ plus community. Um, we, our mission is to kind of provide that that safe space for our members. Um, my wife and I are the owners, so we are also members of the community, so we have a, just an extra understanding of um, the need behind spa safe spaces. How long have you guys been open? About two years, okay. well over. So how have those two years been? When you talk about the support from downtown Toledo and the LGBTQ community, how has your space helped with those relationships? Um, it's the downtown community and then the LGBTQ plus community mm -hmm. um, together has been so su supportive. About to whistle here, sorry. That's all right. Um, it's part, of the, <laughs> part of the vibe, right? Yep. So everyone's been so supportive, um, and it's you know just we knew that there was a need, so it was just beautiful seeing that come to fruition with okay. opening our space. Perfect. So. so today, you know, we are celebrating. You said that you celebrate Pride, of course, year round. Of course. So you have some special teas that you're ripping up. So walk us through the process here of what we're making today. Of course. Um, so in you know just Pride Month, I'm making the rainbow tea today. Ooh fun okay. so um, we all of our drinks are a little bit themed either Toledo or you know pride related okay um, so when making iced tea it's kind of like regular tea we want to make sure that the tea steeps fully before we pull it pour it over ice okay and um, this is something that I have a problem with even when I make a cup of tea how long are you supposed to be steeping that is a great question so it really depends on the type of tea ours takes about three minutes um, for the green tea okay. and about five minutes for the raspberry tea so it's not that long not okay. really that long um, but just in case I made some up a little earlier okay so we can try that out this tea is wonderful with either an herbal raspberry tea or a green tea. Um, I was going to make the green tea for us this morning um, because raspberry tea does not have caffeine, so it's perfect for afternoon if you're trying to not have caffeine. Okay, okay. But I don't know about you, but I need a little more caffeine this morning. Eh, so. Yeah, it's Monday, right? <laughs> okay, all right, so you have the ice in there. You have this tea, and this yep. is just the water and the tea, and this is cooled at this point? Yep, Pretty it's cool. ready yeah, to be okay. over ice. So okay. after you let your tea steep for about five minutes, at that point, once it's fully steeped, you can start like the cooling process, you okay. can pop it in the fridge. Um, and then once it's cooled, you can go ahead and pour it over ice. Okay. Make sure it's nice and cool. You can give it a stir. And a green tea tends to be a base for a lot of things, right? It does, like when we do um, different teas with flavorings. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like a really nice um, flavor and pairs well okay. with a lot of different things. All right, and then you said it's rainbow, right? So we gotta add a little color to this thing? We sure do. Okay. So we'll start with the raspberry syrup. So as you can see, it's not only delicious, it's also very pretty. Okay, nice, like that. And then lavender, lavender. to add a little bit Ooh, of okay. beautiful floral um, flavor. I love things that have that lavender or any sort of floral. It, it's an acquired taste, but I think it's nice. I like it that. is, and I was delightfully surprised the first time I ever tried it. Yeah. Um, you know, and it just pairs well with like the raspberry fruity flavors as well. Okay. Just gives it that nice little rainbow taste. So if coffee is not your thing, then you do have lots of teas, which is we nice. We do. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's give it a whirl here. Oh, that is nice and refreshing. And I love the lavender. I yeah. love it. It's so earthy. Yeah. Mm. Love that. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Of if you course. want to visit Grinders Coffee, of course, it's in downtown Toledo. Becca, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure meeting you. We well, appreciate well. it. And Eric, me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cool off and refresh, <laughs> and we'll send it back to you.